What's up guys? This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you what's on my mind and there is a child outside my window yelling for some reason. I don't know what's going on but it's something like 10 minutes after 9. Kid, where are your parents? It's 9 p.m. Do you know where your children are? I don't know. But if anyone wants to know, no, I don't have a kid in my closet somewhere. That's not what you hear. There's a kid outside yelling. But uh, anyway, um, wishing all the best to everyone. And uh, I just got a notice on my phone not too long ago. And it's from someone in the comment section that goes by the name of Your Mama. <laughs> okay. I don't know if it's Your Mama. I don't think it's my mama. I don't know. If it is, Mom, I love you. But anyway, Your Mama <laughs> is in my comment section. And... Um, they uh, sent me a link and the link is for a story that uh, has been going around today that I just noticed uh, this evening and uh, earlier uh, Craig from uh, Reviews for You was talking about it what's up Craig and uh, also of course Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers that brother's got such a huge heart of course he's all over it but uh, anyway um, your mama thought that it would be a good idea if uh, we all came together for this cause and I agree your mama big shout out to you never thought I'd be saying that but apparently uh, what's going on is um, the actress uh, Shannon Lynn who was the model for Mary Jade in the Star Wars series is um, is facing a tough battle with her health and uh, there is a GoFundMe uh, that's available for us to uh, to come to her assistance and I think that it would be great if we all came together for that because after all this uh, Star Wars community uh, we're from all different walks of life and everything, but we share a passion, and um, that passion that we share is oftentimes very, very telling, you know, about who we are as human beings, and uh, that's why I'm so proud to be a part of it. And uh, I want to read her story on, a, on the GoFundMe page, and I'm going to leave the link so uh, maybe we can all help out, because after all, uh, my platform isn't that huge. I have um, almost five and a half... Um, a thousand subscribers at this point but you know you gotta figure I think Craig was making the uh, point earlier today if everybody puts in one dollar you know uh, it could really really help and uh, that's what we're hoping for so uh, you know uh, you know I donated earlier so uh, hopefully we can all do this uh, alright so let me go on and read the uh, the story if I can just bring it up for you guys real quick sorry guys I lost it but let me see if I can get it back Okay, so this is on the uh, GoFundMe page for Shannon Lynn, uh, otherwise known as Sharon McCrandall, I think it is also. So it goes on to say, diagnosed with AS and cancer at the same time, spring 2013. Cancer is in remission, but the damage caused by radiation and chemo is ongoing. The ankylosing spindulitis is not responding to any medications or therapy. Insurance does not cover more homeopathic remedies. I've now found out that due to radiation, I have severe osteoporosis in my back and hips. I've already gone through menopause. All of my internal organs are basically attached to one another because of adhesions. My eyesight is failing. I have a very ill-functioning immune system, and with each passing day, I step closer to a permanent seat in a wheelchair. I have lost all control of bowel and bladder my SI stays out continuously. Every step makes me cry. Um, this is tough, guys. And, um, you know, Shannon, um, I am absolutely wishing you the best. You know, I did a video probably over a year ago talking about a friend of mine, you know, who went through a similar thing. You know, with, with her, it was breast cancer. And, you know, with her, um, you know, I lost a very 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 good friend so uh, this kind of makes me a little bit emotional so you guys kind of like um, bear with me I'm sorry um, even sleeping is near impossible but exhaustion is constant I can no longer shower or go downstairs if I am home alone I only drive to doctor's appointments with three surgeries scheduled for this summer I'm truly at a loss I will never be able to work again I said, she says, I will never be able to work again, and the strain of the bills and need for lifelong treatment is overwhelming. I pray constantly to not lose faith. 
I am so grateful that people can find it in their hearts to help me any way they can. God bless and thank you for caring. All right, so um, there's the story. And, um, you know, I would be lying if I didn't tell you that I'm having flashbacks, you know, while I'm talking about this story, you know, because, um, you know, my friend, uh, you know, and, and that's what I have to draw on, guys, because I know that, you know, when you go through the chemo, when you go through all of these uh, treatments and you suffer the setbacks and everything like that, it's so hard to keep faith, you know what I mean? And, and the constant pain and, you know, you losing your uh, independence and things like that. It's so, so very hard not to give up. And uh, Shannon Lynn, I beg you, please don't give up. And, um, you know, for everybody out there who's hearing this, you know, like I said, I don't have a huge audience, but for the difference that we can make, I pray that we do. You know, I pray that we all come together and uh, we help in any way that we can. You know, if, if only just to ease her, uh, her suffering. You know, I know sometimes even laughing is a chore, you know, so I want to be careful. I don't want to, um, you know, say anything this... <laughs> <laughs> this is too funny, you know, but, um, Shannon, God bless you, you know, and God bless everyone who's going through things like this, and the families, and the families, it's such a, a feeling of a helplessness that comes with this, so, um, you know, when I saw this, I wanted to jump right on it, and, uh, I wanted to lend my support to it, so, uh, the real life marriage, marriage aid is what they're calling you, and, um, you're a fighter, I want you to continue to fight. I want you to keep your head up and I want you to know that you're not alone. You have the love and the gratitude of millions in the world who truly, truly care. So I just wanted to do my part and uh, give a shout out to everybody out there who's moved, you know, to uh, help, you know, one another, all of us, you know, let us be a reminder to be kind to one another. It's so important. It's what life is all about. Anyway, um, you know, that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm going to include the GoFundMe link in the uh, comment section. I'm going to put it in the comment section, probably also in the uh, description box. So uh, you guys get on it if you feel the need to, and I hope you do. All right, I will see you guys on the next one. This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on.